Hi, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services. And today I thought I'd show a little trick using Exchange Transport Rules to capture email and save it to a Teams channel or into a SharePoint library. So right in front of me here, I have a SharePoint library with a number of email messages in here. And um, the question is, how did I get these messages to save automatically into this library? So I started by creating a team. And in my team, I've created a channel here called email and in the email channel I've just gone into here and if you notice there's an option here for get email address so I'm using the team channel email address in this case and on prem SharePoint you could use an email address assigned to a document library but that feature doesn't exist in SharePoint online so we'll use the channel address instead now over in my exchange admin center I'm going to go into my mail flow rules add a rule and I've got a rule here that I've prepared earlier, so we'll just go and edit this rule. <clears throat> and you'll see I've given this one here a name, I've called it Project123 Email Filing. And what I've then done is apply this rule if the subject or the body contains any of the following keywords. So I can click into here and add additional keywords if I wish. So I've got P123 and Project123. This is what it's going to match on, and then I'm going to send the, the email based on the um, uh, to, this, to the Teams channel based on the rule. So I could have different rules for different channels to send documents related to different projects to different locations. So that's um, all the setup that I need to do there. The next thing that I had to do essentially from then is send an email to test it. So if I just go into my email here, I'm just going to create an email. Um, and because it's using the um, transport rule, um, I'm going to go into here and pick my um, and I've got to go one, two, three in the subject line and I've got demo, demo, demo. I can put some inf uh, information goes here. I'm just going to hit send. And because it's running at the transport rule layer, it doesn't have to do anything on the client side. It's all done server side and exchange. And if I just give that a minute or so, it should pick up into here. So I'm just going to refresh my page and we should see we go here's our email i can click the email see the body of the email and so on here um, also in microsoft teams because i've used a, uh, a teams channel it also actually creates a post you'll see it's appeared as a post here and i can also click here to review the email also it's just going to open that email in my email client for me um, so um, nice and easy super super uh, useful little little tip um, of course, when a new item is created, you could also make it click a, uh, trigger a flow if you wanted to to move things to different places. Um, but that's the demo for today. Um, hopefully, you'll find that useful. And um, if you do, please uh, let people know about how to do this. Thank you.